Prime Minister, soldiers, I'm here to salute you, to thank you for your commitment and for your service. And I really mean it when I say that I'm so impressed uh, by what you do and uh, the bravery of uh, the personnel I have met here today uh, and what you do here uh, is important for the safety of Estonia but it's also important for the safety of the whole NATO uh, alliance. So therefore, it is important for me to tell you directly how grateful I am for the work, for the professionalism, and for your uh, dedication in your service here in uh, TAPA. It's not easy being away from your families and your loved ones, so your service is uh, really very much appreciated. I have, over the last weeks, uh, met uh, all the four battle groups that NATO has deployed to the three Baltic countries, uh, Latvia, uh, Estonia and Lithuania, and uh, to Poland. And uh, the battle groups, the four battle groups in the three Baltic countries and Poland, they send a very strong message that NATO is united, uh, NATO stands together, and uh, more than 4,000 troops in the four battle groups, they uh, send the same message of uh, uh, unity, which is uh, the strength of the alliance. And the most important thing is that the fact that the battle group is uh, composed of soldiers from 15 different nations, from both sides of the Atlantic, that makes uh, the message very clear that an attack on one ally will uh, trigger the response from the whole alliance. So the fact that this is a multinational uh, battle group uh, strengthens the message from uh, the battle group. The battle group in uh, Estonia, uh, here in Tapa, is uh, one element of a bigger picture. As I mentioned, uh, one of four battle groups, but uh, it is also a part of an even bigger picture. Uh, because not only have we deployed four battle groups, but we have also strengthened the coordination between the home defense forces in Estonia and in the, own, and in the other Baltic countries and Poland. And we have established uh, eight small headquarters in the Baltic countries, Poland, and uh, in several other uh, countries in the eastern part of the alliance, making sure that we have good cooperation and coordination between the home defense forces and uh, the uh, NATO uh, battle groups. We have tripled uh, the size of the NATO response force, so now we have 40,000 troops in the uh, NATO response force, and within the response force we have established a high readiness joint task force, a spearhead force, which is able to move within very uh, few uh, days. So altogether, this combination of uh, more presence uh, with the NATO battle groups uh, in the Baltic countries and in Poland, with higher readiness and, uh, uh, and higher and better uh, capabilities uh, when it comes to reinforcement, all of that uh, has um, has made uh, NATO stronger and has uh, made uh, NATO able to adapt and to respond to a more uh, assertive Russia, which we see close to our uh, borders. So I am extremely proud of uh, this NATO mission. We are not here to provoke a conflict, but we are here to prevent conflict. And you can be very proud of what you do. And I am extremely grateful for this opportunity to thank you, to meet you, and to tell you how important your service is for the whole alliance. Thank you so much for your service. We are all very proud of what you are doing every day. Thank you.